Hey guys, earlier today I got my work pierced. I know I just pointed to my ear, but it's a little. Obviously, that's a cartilage piercing. Um, my helix piercing, that's the work piercing just there. Um, and I'm just gonna run through my experience of getting it done. Um, I didn't just go on a whim, I'd been planning it for a while. I would have got some footage of it actually being done, but um, too, my friends were too much of voices to watch me having it done, so never mind. <laughs> um, when I went into the shop, they gave me an option to either get a hoop or a bar, and I chose a bar because I didn't really want two hoops on my ear. Um, when she was showing, when before she put the jewellery on, she showed me two sizes of balls, um, like the screw on balls. Um, I chose the bigger version because the small ones were really small. I'm pretty sure they were only like the size of the bar and I wanted to be able to see them to be honest because there's not much point if, well for me there wasn't much point if you're not going to see it at all. They froze the cartilage um, and I had the same when I had my uh, helix piercing done, they froze the cartilage then too. But it took a longer time because it's two bits of cartilage they're having to go through. Um, which, uh, some people find that an unpleasant feeling, but I wasn't really that bothered by it. It didn't hurt, just really cold. Um, I think she expected it to hurt because, yeah, I could hear the fizzing of the, I don't know what they use. But I could hear the fizzing as they were spraying it on. Um, so that was a bit of an odd sensation. It was like listening, sitting next to like a glass of lemonade or something and listening to it fizz. It was kind of like that. But um, yeah, I, I looked at some like videos and like what people thought about um, like the pain and what it was like. Um, some people say that you can hear it pop as it goes through. Personally, I couldn't hear it pop. Um, it's odd because if they freeze it, it's sort of like you can feel it, but not 100%. It didn't hurt. Like, if I had to give it on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, give it like a 2 or a 3. And it hurts for like a second and it's gone. Um, it's like a pressure, because obviously they're trying to push the thing through. So it's pressure and then. I don't know, it wasn't really painful for me. Like, it was slightly more painful than my helix piercing. And it kind of hurt when she was... Because what they she did was she put tissue paper over the rest of my ear. So when she was freezing my ear, she only froze the right bit. And she was clutching onto my helix piercing. So that kind of hurt. Because it's sometimes a bit sore. But this... It's not even so yet. There's a little bit of blood because I haven't cleaned it up yet. But yeah, the pain, it throbbed. It was like bright red, my whole ear. Because, I don't know, all the blood obviously rushed to my ear because it's like, uh, there's something in there which it shouldn't be. So it was, um, I guess, slightly swollen. Um, but it's all calmed down now. Um, she said, the bar's a bit longer than the rook because she said it's probably going to swell like most cartilage piercings do. My This one didn't until about two months afterwards when I changed the jewellery so I reckoned I changed it too soon. For this one I'm going to leave it because it says six to eight weeks but I'm going to leave it, leave it longer than that but the piercers always say if you're not sure whether you should change it or not go in to the piercers and they'll change it for you because they obviously have sterilizing stuff so they know what they're doing um i got given a little aftercare pack thing to tell me what to do like stuff which talks about keloid scarring and granulation information um 
uh, I got the same sort of pack when I got my helix piercing done, but basically all I'm going to do is salt water solution because that what's worked for me before. I find that if I use tea tree oil too much it makes my ear really dry and it says here not to use tea tree too much and not to over clean your piercing because that can be just as bad as like not cleaning it at all. But my best advice is just to follow what your piercer says because they're professionals, they don't know what they're doing. Just take the advice you're given and if it doesn't work then go back to your piercer to find out what's wrong with it. But yeah. So basically, on a scale of 1 to 10 for pain, I give it about a 3. It kind of is like a dull ache right now, but it only hurts. Like, it's weird because I didn't realise that like when I smile sometimes or when I'm eating, like it twinges there because obviously this bit's like attached to your jaw, like more so than this. This, when I moved my mouth didn't hurt at all. The annoying thing is it says in the pack that I shouldn't wear in the ear headphones for like ages. And it says until it's well healed. Um, for sleeping, because you're not supposed to sleep on it, I always sleep with my arm like that because if I'm going to sleep on that side, which I hardly ever do, it's mainly if I'm being restless when I toss and turn, I tend to lay like that or sometimes I wake up like that because I'm so used to doing it for my helix piercing, it's really not going to be a problem for my rook. This isn't a how you should do, like, how you should look after your piercing or anything. This is just my experience and what I'm going to do. So, I'm not a professional piercer, I just have some piercings. So, yeah, don't take my advice if somebody, your piercer has told you different. Trust them, they are professional. So, yeah. I will do a close up for you. I hope you guys could see that but yeah it's only a bit bloody on the bottom I've still got the marker on my ear from where they mark it out because they mark it out so that you can look in the mirror well at least my piercer did they marked it so that I could look in the mirror to see if I liked that placement before they put the piercing in a lot of people also advise when you're sleeping to have two pillows like either side of your ear that's also supposed to work um, I also sometimes sleep with my head just on the pillow so my head my ear isn't on anything so yeah with just the pillow just above my head that works for me um i hope this has been kind of helpful for if you've been thinking about getting it done or whatnot if you have any questions please do feel free to ask obviously i'm not a professional piercer so please ask your piercer as well but like if you're just thinking about getting it done i can give you my opinions on what it's like and everything. So yeah, I hope I helped and good luck with your rook piercings if you're gonna get one. <laughs> Ow, that hurts my smile. <laughs>